Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here with issues regarding their thigh. In particular, they're complaining of burning, tingling, um, achy, and pain sensations, kind of in this kind of pocket area of the thigh right here, and into the lateral part of the thigh, the outside part of the thigh. And what they're coming in with is a condition known as Moralgia Parasthetica that involves the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. I got Netter right here. This is good old Netter. This is the Atlas of Human Anatomy by Frank Netter, MD. And I've opened it up to this page. That way you guys have a picture of what we're talking about here. So this is it right here. And you can kind of see right here, I, this is the highlighted uh, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. It comes out of L2, L3. And right in through here, so the L2, L3 comes out right here. It go, It's behind, this is the psoas muscle, behind the psoas muscle, in front of the quadratus lumborum muscle right here. You can see this in yellow right here. This is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. And it kind of lies right here. This is the iliacus muscle right here. And then boom, it dives underneath the inguinal ligament. You see this? This is a ligament right here. This is the inguinal ligament and this little point, this protuberance right here, this little point bone is the anterior superior iliac spine, ASIS. But you can see the orifice here in which that nerve exits out right here and it innervates this pocket area of your thigh and down the lateral part of your thigh right here. And people are complaining of pain, discomfort, tingling, burning, and sometimes it's even debilitating where they're having difficulty doing their daily activity. So, how do you fix that? Well, there are two moves that you can do to help with this. And the first move, in particular, helps to really work this part right here. This part right here and where the nerve exits out underneath the inguinal ligament. It'll work right in here. And what I've done, check this out. I'm gonna move you guys a little closer here, just like this. Move you guys a little closer, you can see this here, right here. I've affixed the post here with a pull-up assist band, just like this. I'll put a link in the description where to get one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your leg in this and, and thigh in this thing. And remember on the on netter, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this band right where the inguinal ligament lies, kind of like in that crease of your thigh. You see that? And this is that bony protuberance. This is the ASIS right here. I'm pointing to it. I can feel that on myself. And remember that nerve exits kind of right just medial, just inside of that ASIS, just right there. And I'm gonna put this band right here. Now I'm gonna face this way. So now the band is pulling me this way. And what I'm gonna do, now this is creating a little bit of a compression here on that area. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hip hinge. I'm gonna hinge at the hip, not at the back. I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna hinge at the hip here. And then as I come up, I'm going to extend the hip. So I'm gonna contract the butt cheeks just like that, boom. I'm not extending at the low back, I'm not doing this. I'm extending it, I'm going to hip hinge, like I'm gonna pick up something off the floor like a deadlift, and then I'm going to contract the glutes, boom. And I'm gonna do a set of 15 here, boom. Just like this, boom. Essentially what this is doing, I'm gonna lift my arm up so you can kind of see what this is doing in the front. Just like this, boom. Essentially what this is doing, a set of 15, what that's doing, it's putting a little bit of compression on the nerve. I know sometimes you know, people will say, oh, you're compressing a nerve that's being compressed. Well, what you're doing essentially, you're, you're creating motion with that nerve as you're slightly compressing it with the band and it's helping to break up adhesions between the nerve the fascia and the tissues that it has to pass through, including the little orifice in which it comes out underneath the inguinal ligament as we saw in Netter. So imagine that you have the skin, you have adipose, you have fascia, you have the nerve and everything gets kind of pancaked because of, uh, we know we sit way too much 
in this kind of seated position like this, right? And over time, you get adhesions in through there, and then you go to stand up or whatever it may be, and then you have the myalgia parasthetica going on. So what this is doing, it's like a self myofascial release to release those tissues so you get better gliding surfaces and the nerve is free to conduct its messages the way it's supposed to do instead of being interfered with all those adhesions. So here you are. You're in here like that, right in the crease, right there. Okay. And then you're going to, let me tilt you guys down here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. See that green? And this is where that nerve is, right there. And I'm just going hip hinge, like I'm gonna pick up something off the floor, get some, get some tension here. And it's not a lot of tension. I'm not sitting here, you know, walking way over here. I'm just getting a little bit of tension. See, the band comes out relaxed right here. I'm just taking maybe a, a half a step forward to create a little bit of tension in through there. And then I'm hip hinging, okay? And then contract the glutes. I'm not working my low back. I'm not extending my back. I'm not flexing in my back. I'm hinging at the hip. There. Boom, contract the glute. Do 15 reps here like this. And you're freeing up. You're essentially doing a self myofascial release with those adhesions that are keeping that nerve conducting what it's supposed to conduct. So that's the first exercise. Here in just a second, I'm gonna show you the second one. Now, since you've, you've already broken up some of those adhesions that are keeping that nerve doing what it's supposed to do, we're gonna go into the second exercise here. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need either a couch or a bed. And what you're gonna do, here, check this out. I'm gonna tilt this down so you can kinda of see what I'm doing here. You're gonna lie on your side. Just like this. I'm gonna do it facing you as well here in just a second, but I'm gonna lie on my side just like this. And I'm gonna put my, kind of my back, my backside right here, my butt's gonna be close to the edge. And what I'm doing, I'm going into a little bit of hip flexion, and then I'm gonna go into hip extension, and then I'm gonna let this leg hang and go into adduction. So this is what it looks like. So hip flexion, into hip extension and, and adduction. See that? Ooh. Same thing. Hip flexion, extension, adduction. Oh. Flexion, extension, adduction. So this is ADD. You can kind of see how my leg and thigh go down toward the ground here. Boom. Just like this. Boom, just like that. One set of 15 to start with. Work up to three sets of 15 on this one. The first one, just do a set of 15. The second exercise, you want to work up to three sets of 15. Here we go. Whoa. And man, you can really feel this open up right here. You can really feel that open up. Remember, we were looking at the anatomy here in, in Netter, and you can kind of see how that nerve, as it travels through those passageways, you can see how this move, doing this, you can see how this move, a little bit of flexion, extension, and abduction, you can see how this move opens up and frees up those passageways for that nerve to travel. You can really feel that in through there. And uh, here I'll show you what it looks like kind of front view. So you're like this right here. I'm gonna go a little closer you can kind of, so you guys can kind of see. So here I am and I'm bracing with the couch or bench or whatever I'm on. Actually, I gotta go a little bit back here a little bit. And my butt is kind of close to the edge. And all I'm doing is a little bit of hip flexion, right? So I'm bringing my knee kind of up a little bit. I'm gonna go into hip extension. You don't wanna extend the back. You're not gonna extend the low back. You're just moving the hip. See, moving the hip back to extension and just letting that leg hang down into adduction. And you can feel this open up and through here. All this in here, this kind of the side area right here. You can even feel the iliacus right in there. Oh man, ooh wee. Be deliberate about it too. Flexion, hip extension, 
and abduction. And you can even hold it down there for a few seconds. One, two, three. Just take deep breaths and relax. Back up. Deep breaths and relax. I'm keeping my torso pretty square on my side. I'm not rotating like this. I'm keeping it pretty much perpendicular to the uh, table here. I'm coming down. So really the only movement is in the hip. Just like that. Oh man, I can really feel And you'll feel sometimes one side is tighter than another. So the first one, we're doing kind of like a self myofascial release to help that nerve glide better through those tissues with a little bit of uh, compression on it and get those gliding surfaces back again. And then we're gonna we take it through some stretching to further glide that nerve through those passages so that way it's free to do whatever it's necessary to do and doesn't give you that burning, tingling pain in that pocket area down the lateral part of the thigh. Two exercises. Anyway, if you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching, we appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe, and when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future, and that way you can continue to move well, live well. Also, I know you know folks who are battling pain in the thigh, kind of in that pocket area, burning, tingling, numbing, down the outside part of the thigh, they may have Myralgia Parasthetica. Share this with them. It's very hard to see your friends and family suffer from stuff like this. So share this with them. Sharing is caring. Also, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know you care. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.